From as little as $20, your Christmas and New Year's could be filled with entertainment. We provide free-to-air decoders, smart TVs with built-in satellite receivers, tech support for all our products second to none. Find us in Harare, Mutare and Mashingo. For more information, WhatsApp us on the numbers appearing on screen now. Kesson Electronics. Grab yours today. Hello guys, my name is DJ Ola 7 Owen. We're Guama Dondo, the Chief Air Marshal. Your number one podcast show in the land. <laughs> it's finally here. It's a Monday. You know, we always do this on a Monday. I love talking to kids. It is called the Genius Kids Show, where I talk to, uh, you know, the young kids who are doing exceptionally well in different fields, academically, you know, uh, sports, and also maybe, you know, maybe singing as well. So if you know that you've got your kid or your child is very brilliant in something, let me know. Just hit, hit, hit us up on our, our um, uh, number, you know, that's appearing on your screen of our show, Mana. Then we talk to your kid. And uh, tonight I'm talking to a young girl. Her name is um, Safia Baba. Safia Baba. I'm going to, you know, talk about the same Baba later on. But anyways, at just 11 years old, this passionate young scientist and radio DJ. She is a radio DJ, by the way. She, she presents every Wednesday at Capitol 100.4 FM with Patsani and um, Tinasha Chikuse. So, yeah, and uh, she captured uh, the hearts of many uh, with her exceptional talents. So, despite her tender age, she skillfully balances her pursuits, uh, showcasing her love for science and her neck for entertaining through radio. Amanaka, that was on Titra Zanita by radio. These kids are so amazing, you know, trust me. Notably, she has offered uh, effortlessly juggled uh, public speaking engagements with her academic uh, responsibilities, leaving a positive impression on those around her and earning admiration from all, you know, who have encountered uh, her work. So, let me just say hi to Safia. Hello, Safia, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Good to have you on the show. Thank you so much. I'm very happy to be here. You're very happy. Mm -hmm. I can see. I can see. <laughs> so I said you're just 11. So, I mean, I want to know who is Safia Baba? Why Baba, by the way? Well, um, as you know, my name is Safia Barber. Uh -huh. I am uh, 11 years old. Yeah. I'm a natural scientist, an avid public speaker. And like you said before, I have my own show on the radio on Wednesday. So I'm a DJ too. Yeah, DJ too. You love being on radio. Mm -hmm, I love it. It's just amazing being able to talk to everyone. <laughs> I know the feeling, you know, as a, as, as a radio presenter as well, I know the feeling. And I, you know, these days I'm not on radio these days and I miss radio so much. You know, I can't, I can't live without radio. I know radio is like, you know, it's part of my life. Mm -hmm. It's part of my it life. It really gets attached to you after a while. You see? So when is the 6 a.m. You're, you're on radio? Mm -hmm. What about school? For school, um, I get there on time mm -hmm. when I go to school, so I manage to be there on time and still do all of the work I have to do. Mm, I see. So could you share with us, you know, what initially sparked your interest, you know, in these fields? Let's start by radio. Okay, um, for the radio, it also comes with my school because mm -hmm. I've always been a natural scientist. I've just loved discovering the world around me. Mm -hmm. I've loved knowing how things work, what they do, and public speaking gave me a platform to share my knowledge with others. Mm. And being on the radio actually gave me a much bigger platform to do so. Wow, I love that. I love that. So how do you approach your scientific you know, pursuits and what are some of the, uh, your favorite scientific uh, achievements? Um, it's the achievement of the world, right? Yeah. Okay, so um, when you want to just find anything out, I, to be honest, I'm quite a bookworm. <laughs> so it's very easy for me to get questions or for me to find answers to anything. Mm -hmm. And when you're doing research, you have to listen and pay attention or you have to read. Yes. So they kind of go hand in hand. Mm. And so far, we have technology and science all around us. Yeah. We have transport, which is um, for technology. We have cooking, which is chemistry. Mm -hmm. But I think my all-time favorite, and it will always be my favorite mm -hmm. would be medicine medicine mm -hmm. why medicine well health should always come first wow it's helped many people to prolong their lives yes true. to survive i agree mm -hmm. my favorite so far would be painkillers especially because of the way they work <laughs> painkillers <laughs> okay the way they work how okay. do they work so there's a special protein called cox2 which releases chemicals called prostaglandins when you're in pain or injured these prostaglandins send signals to your brain telling you that you're in pain. 
And we have um, painkillers like paracetamol, ibuprofen, and these chem chemicals, the ones from the painkillers, actually connect to the injured cells to prevent them from pr producing any more prostaglandins. What? What? Guys, <laughs> I feel so challenged, guys. <laughs> this is Sophia. I'm from Kirkman Private School. Wow, wow, wow. You know, I, I don't have anything to say anymore, guys. I don't have anything to say anymore. Guys, this is Sophia on the show. So, you know what? Um... Most parents, you know, uh, want their kids to do sports and uh, all these other crucial, you know, educational activities. And uh, the main one is that uh, kids will lose a focus uh, on the core business. So academic, you know, how do you manage, you, uh, I mean, your, your time effectively um, and strike a balance between your various interests? Well, let me respectfully correct you on that. Mm -hmm. These so-called extracurricular activities are actually very important. Mm. The same effort we put in math, science, and English, we should put that same effort into sports and all the others. That's why I thank God for my school. We have what we call the 10-cluster educational system. Mm -hmm. We have math, science, English, Shauna, uh, public speaking, financial literacy, mm. agriculture, <laughs> sports, music, arts and crafts. Isn't that too much for an 11-year-old not really, because you're actually able to balance it. We have specific times for mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. We make sure that we don't do too much, because we still focus on our academics. Yeah. And then all the extra activities are when we have extra time. Wow. Wow. Guys, you are doing a financial literacy. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Well, we learn how to spend money wisely. Mm. We actually did our own charity campaign. We do a termly at Kirkman. Mm -hmm. So we actually go around clearing neighborhoods, houses, and then we give the money to charity. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. Wow. <laughs> guys, Kickman. Well done, guys. Well done, Kickman. And maybe in general, someone wrong for Kickman. Because uh, now, I wouldn't do that. Lisa. You know, we've got uh, Sophia on the show. And what type of signs uh, interest, um, interest you? Well, there are many different types of science, but I would say my favorite one so far would be no, there are actually two mm -hmm. there's astronomy and zoology. Oh, astronomy. Last time I, I, I hosted um, uh, a guy called Mr. Bacon. I don't know if you watched the show, uh, the Mr. Bacon one. And he's into astronomy as well. He wants to be an astronaut when he grow up. So do you also want to be an astronaut? Mm, that's too risky for me. Why? No matter how far technology goes, I'd still like to stay on Earth. But I just like <laughs> studying stars and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, just knowing more about the planets. It's very interesting because uh -huh. it's not even on this planet. Yeah? It's out of this orbit, really. Uh, yes, of course. So what are your most memorable, I mean, I mean your most, uh, most memorable uh, scientific uh, achievements? Uh, so far, the favorite ones that I've done would be... <laughs> Harvesting tardigrades. Mm. You're probably wondering, what is a tardigrade? Well, it's a microscopic animal, also mm -hmm. goes by the name of water bear or moss piglet. Mm. They can survive in space, um, being dried out, being boiled, mm -hmm. being uh, frozen. Mm -hmm. They're like super animals. That's why wow. I decided to keep them. Also because mm. no one would actually know they're Oh, there. yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can say that again. So, what is astronomy? Let's get down to business now. Um, I'd say astronomy is everything that's out of our atmosphere, mm -hmm. the study of planets, space, and stars. Mm. Wow, what a definition. What a definition from Sophia. Should I tell you a little bit more so you actually get the idea also? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I, I want you to tell me why Pluto is no longer a planet. Oh, I'm so happy you've actually heard that. So, because um, most people, they still think that Pluto isn't a planet. Uh -huh. That Pluto is still a planet. Yeah. That was actually, it was actually recognized as a dwarf planet in 2006. It's from so long 2006. ago. 2006. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. why I'm so happy in mm -hmm. August. So, Pluto isn't a planet anymore because it doesn't have enough mass to clear its uh, surroundings. Mm -hmm. In astronomy, we call that clearing its neighborhood. Mm -hmm. That's when it uh, uses its gravitational pull and magnetic pull to uh, collide with things that it can't avoid. Mm -hmm. And its atmosphere will actually avoid things from hitting it. Mm. We now have eight normal planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. <laughs> Hey, hey, Mr. Bacon, here is your challenge. Mr. Bacon says, Ola, no one will challenge me. And uh, finally, we got your challenge, Mr. Bacon. Trust me on this one. Here is your challenge, Sophia. But uh, I'm thinking now, maybe to put it together with um, uh, Mr. Bacon and see who is the best. 
Maybe one day we can see how that goes. Yes. <laughs> so Mr. Dugan wants to go to Spain, so I'm going to do this before he leaves, okay? okay. So, okay, um, can you tell us uh, how planets clear their atmosphere? Well, like I explained, they actually avoid things that they can't avoid. Mm. Um, no, yeah, they avoid things when it's coming to them. Mm -hmm. So their atmosphere, before something hits it, it will probably already have shredded or burnt out by the time it hits this um, planet's surface. Mm -hmm. And the planet will actually move around away from it. Not exactly like it will dodge it, mm -hmm. but the asteroid or meteoroid will actually just make a small miss with the atmosphere. Yeah. Because it's like a bubble, really, so mm -hmm. it can't exactly go into it. Mm. So is this what you're learning at risk? Yeah, we actually do a lot of learning, and sometimes I just might want to research things by myself. Oh, yeah, by yourself at home. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is just amazing. So, I want you to tell us more about stars, you know, that uh, turn into black holes, you know? How do they turn into those black holes, the stars? Okay, well, like you see in movies, mm -hmm. black holes can suck in anything. Yeah. Even the speed of light can't escape it, mm. which is the fastest thing known to mankind. Wow. I doubt there's anything faster, really. So um, what happens when a uh, star dies? Because there are many stages stars have to go through. Mm -hmm. There's a red dwarf, blue dwarf, yellow giant. So by the time uh, they burn out, because mm -hmm. they're made out of gas, yeah. a small, small black hole eats it in a circular way. Mm -hmm. And by the time it's finished, the whole star, it starts to suck in anything. Mm. Lights, other stars, um, meteoroids, anything. Mm. But don't worry about our sun. Scientists predict that it'll only happen <laughs> in about six months million years. Six million years? Mm -hmm. How did you know that? Well, it's not actually true. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a theory. Okay. But um, whatever happens, if the sun is to turn into a black hole, mm -hmm. it'll happen in a very, very long time. Mm, I see. Guys, are you guys learning? Huh? I can see your comment section. Are you do you speak Shona? Uh, actually, no, I don't. You don't? Really? <laughs> what else? Do you, don't you learn, I mean, uh, Shona in school? Well, at school, I just asked them if they could show me how to do it. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I don't speak Shona is because my mother grew up somewhere else. Okay. So when we were at home, we didn't speak Shona that much. Oh, I see. And your dad? Um, yeah, he also, he's not from here, so he doesn't speak Shona. Oh, I, I understand now. I understand. So I want to, uh, I want us to talk about, um, you know, zoology, you know. Okay. And uh, what is zoology? Well, zoology is a study of animals, um, their behaviors, and their characters. Mm, what, uh, I mean, what interesting facts can you tell us about, uh, you know, any three animals? Okay, well, I chose three. Let me think. Okay, I'll take three of the smartest ones. Mm -hmm. Because different people actually choose different ways to um, balance them. Mm -hmm. Because they um, actually calculate them according to IQ, mm -hmm. behavior, the way they think. Yes. Okay, but these three are always in the top ten. Mm -hmm. First up is an elephant. It was elephant. always my favorite, even before I knew this. Mm. So an elephant is the biggest land animal. Yeah. Um, they can live up to 40 years old. Mm. They don't communicate using their trunks or yeah, anything. Yeah. They actually communicate by stomping with, with vibrations. Oh. Yeah, that's actually very interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's actually quite amazing. Mm -hmm. And um, since they're very big, they actually eat a lot. They can eat, like maybe you, you might eat maybe up to... Even 10 kgs 10 kg. of food is too much. <laughs> I, but they I, can I, eat can't, much more that, For than me, it's that. 2 kgs. 2 kgs. See, you eat 2, yeah. but they can eat 300. 300 kgs? Mm -hmm. Food? And, yes. Jeez. And Jeez. their trunks can hold up to 4 liters of water. Uh, and they can have up to 40,000 muscles in their trunk alone. Oh, that's too much. I know, but it's actually enough to kill an adult lion. Oh. That's why they're very lucky animals. Wow. And since their ears are so thin, they actually use them as fans when it's too hot. Mm -hmm. And when these animals, since they always travel, you've seen before, right? Mm -hmm. Like maybe they're walking yeah, around. Yeah. When they have to or when they're walking through a really foreign territories, sometimes, it's not always there, but often, one elephant will stand in front, the one behind it will hold onto its tail with its trunk, and oh. so on and so on and so on until the last. Mm, guys, this is amazing. This is interesting, you know, facts about an uh, uh, elephant that I didn't know. So, this is why I call this the genius kid. She is a genius. Okay, tell us more. Okay, well then there's a chimpanzee. A uh -huh, chimpanzee. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I used to watch that on uh, Ge um, Geographic uh, World channel. You've seen I how violent they can be, right? Yes, yes. It's quite mean. I'm very happy I'm not one of those. Uh -huh. And one thing most people actually don't believe is that their brains are 98% the same as a human's. 98%? Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, it's a human? Uh, 
people like all those scientists who say people came from humans, I am still a God-fearing scientist. <laughs> but that 2% is still quite a lot. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why they're not driving cars. Okay. But they can use math when they have to. Not they, very often, but scientists how, have seen. How? Well, they can actually um, count things. Maybe mm -hmm. they don't actually share. You've seen that before. Uh, but they can actually say, oh, well, not actually say, but think. I have five. Now let me go and get another one. And maybe they start to actually <laughs> playing with them. Like maybe they might have their own little game to themselves and then just start playing. But, you, you know, chimpanzees are very violent. Yes. There's actually a, a story about a lady who kept a pet chimpanzee. Mm -hmm. And then one day when her friend came to visit, the chimpanzee just started ripping the face off for no reason. <laughs> that was very bad. I'm so happy I wasn't there. It would have been a sight to see yeah, and I can look imagine. away from immediately. Yes. But that happened because chimpanzees actually become more violent and more aggressive as mm -hmm. they grow older. Mm -hmm. So I would never... Or as them. they grow older. Mm -hmm. Why is that so? Well, I'm... Well, it's just the way that they are. Mm. They're violent, but they actually also live with their own families. Mm -hmm. They actually care about each other, but if something goes wrong, they take it to the next level. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what they do. That's why I would not keep any wild animal. But if I had to, I would but, actually uh, want to release it But it's risky to keep that kind of an animal Definitely. at home. Definitely. If you want to keep something, it's best to even do your research before yes. that. Yes. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, yeah. So that's chimpanzee. Mm -hmm. And number three. Number three um, is an octopus. Octopus. Yeah, it's a that, marine animal. That one that lives in the ocean? Yeah, okay, it's a marine yeah. animal. Mm -hmm. It has eight tentacles, which act like big arms. Mm. And the pe people have actually seen them holding Rubik's Cubes. Yes. You know those ones where you have to keep on finding the match? Mm -hmm. Even if they don't actually find the way the, um, to fix it, mm. they actually just play with them. Like, you know how maybe a two-year-old could just start moving yes, it around? Yes, yes. Yeah, and people have actually recorded mm -hmm. um, octopus tentacles being strang strangling their eaters. Mm. Really, like maybe you can cook an octopus, you'll be happy, and then by the time you want to eat it, you'll start seeing the arms just swirling around you. But luckily, it doesn't happen too often. Mm -hmm. That's why I wouldn't eat anything uh, if that comes from that deep down. <laughs> <laughs> Even fish, I make sure that it's a normal fish, not something from deep, deep down like why? the angler fish. Why? Because people barely know, people know more about what's in space mm -hmm. than about deep, deep in yes. the ocean. Yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I think it's risky. Even those deep divers, they ha are really brave or mm. really, really daredevils. But they go you know. down, you know, you know, and uh, they will come out with maybe a person who drowned or something like that. It's quite scary, actually. Mm, it's scary. Uh, it's scary. So those are the interesting facts about those three animals. Mm -hmm. So I've learned something about the, uh, about the elephants. I've learned some, something about the uh, chimpanzee and the octopus. So guys, are you learning as well? I'm sure you are learning from this one, the young one, the genius kid, her name is Safiya Baba. So yeah, I'm, I'm learning. So let's talk about languages. You know, I heard you speak Germany. Did you learn Germany at your school? Actually, yes, we do. I'm not the only kid who learns German. There are actually many different kids who have their own stages. But since German is one of the most scientific languages, mm. I, it's the second most scientific language spoken, mm -hmm. that's why I decided I actually put extra effort into it. Mm. So, yeah, but tell us, why German? Well, you could actually say that to any language. You could say, why French, why Spanish, why Mandarin, which is the language of Chi the Chinese. Mm -hmm. But um, I chose German specifically because it's one of the most scientific spoken languages and because it's the most popular language in Europe. In Europe? Mm -hmm. Oh, German language is the most popular. Yeah, I it's in it... Central Europe mostly, mm -hmm. but then you can still find it maybe in Southern Europe yeah. or more North. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's an advantage for you to learn Germany uh, in case maybe you travel to overseas? Mm -hmm. Okay, and how fluent is your Germany? Can you converse in German? Actually, yes I can. Should I show you? Yeah. Okay. Mein Name ist Sophia, ich bin elf Jahre alt, ich habe vier Schwestern, zwei Hunde und ich bin sehr froh, dass ich hier bin und ich hoffe, dass ich wieder zurückkommen kann. Oh, guys, I didn't get that. I didn't hear that. So what were you saying? Tell me. Okay, I said, my name is Sophia. I'm 11 years old. I have four sisters, two dogs, and I'm very happy to be here, and I hope I can come back again soon. Wow. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love that. Wow, that's Sophia. So you, you have got two dogs. Yeah. You love dogs. Uh, well, I love any animal, really. That's mm. why I'm into zoology. Oh, yeah. Uh, so what are the names of, uh, names of your dogs? Well, there's Josie, mm -hmm. and then there's also Panda. There's Josie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend whose name is <laughs> Josie. <laughs> well, the owners actually said that was its original name. Oh, okay. The first owners. Oh, 
So which, which breed is that one? Um, it's a mixed breed, but he's very, well, let's say he's a bit like a chimpanzee, but in a dog <laughs> way. <laughs> he's actually very mean. He doesn't even let the small dog play too much, uh -huh. mainly because it's much smaller. Yeah. But when they want to, they play. Mm. And he's actually, he knows when to, like when I'm fighting with my sisters, yeah. he'll actually just start growling and uh -huh. make sure that we stay away from each okay. other. Okay. And he knows how to jump jewel walls. Mm -hmm. You know the Jura walls? Mm-hmm. Ooh. But that's, that, that's, that's dangerous. It is dangerous, but that's why we actually make sure that he knows that he's supposed to stay inside. Mm -hmm. So whenever he wants to, we actually distract him. Oh, I see. Or we tell him to go away and he'll actually listen. Mm. So is he vi vicious? Yes, very. But he loves us very much. <laughs> <laughs> so what will happen when the visitor comes uh, at your place? Well, um, we have to put him in his doghouse. Mm -hmm. It's quite a big one. He's okay. actually, I'm pretty sure he toils the other dogs. Mm -hmm. I'm the most lucky from all of you. I live in a big doghouse, yeah, stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> so we just block him, but after a while, he'll listen, he'll keep quiet. Mm -hmm. But when they're leaving, that's when he'll start barking again. Okay. Sophia, let's talk about uh, public speaking. I know you are into uh, public speaking as well. So how did you, I mean, uh, develop your public speaking uh, skills uh, and uh, what advice would you give to aspiring uh, young speakers? Okay, so for public speaking skills, since everyone has a choice to do it at my school, I've just decided, wow, I can actually tell people about my knowledge. Mm. Well, not my knowledge, <laughs> to share knowledge. Yeah and teach them whatever they want to know or let them know anything. Mm -hmm. So public speaking was just there, so yeah. I was able to do it. Yeah. yeah. And what I tell to the younger public speakers is that confidence is always the key. Mm -hmm. And you should always practice and choose facts that, and things that are interesting to you. Like me, I like doing science and mm -hmm. everything like that. Yes. But if you want to do something else, maybe you're into sports mm. or music, it's best to do those. So yes. you actually sound interesting. Mm, I see, I see. So uh, let's talk about your role, you know, uh, your new role as a DJ. I know it just, you know, encompasses that uh, area of uh, being in public speaking, uh, mm -hmm. right? So let's talk about your role. Well, I'm very happy that I can be on the radio. I'd like to thank my family, my school, and mostly myself because you can't do something without yourself. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So um, I'm very happy about my new job as a mm -hmm. DJ. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be going back next year. I'm just taking a small holiday break. Okay. So don't worry, you'll still be able to listen. Oh. And, um, well, I can't really explain anything to you. I, I can only show you. Yeah. So Maybe you can show us. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So we'll pretend, let's switch roles. Yeah. Okay. For just for a few minutes, if you don't yeah. mind. Okay. So let's start. Hello viewers and welcome to Genius People, where we interview exceptional people. My name is DJ Sophia and today with me I have DJ Ola. He is the NAMAS Best Male Personality of 2023. And he is just amazing. He was even a DJ and I'd just love to see what you guys would also like to know about him. So let's start. Um, so I heard that you actually went to bed holding your, your award and you woke up still holding it. Can you tell us what that actually meant to you? <laughs> Okay, okay, you caught me off guard on that one, but anyways, it's okay. Yes, it's true. I went to bed holding my award. You know, it was just, you know, amazing. You know, that amazing feeling, you're, you're like, okay, I'm the, I'm the top DJ in Zimbabwe right now. And, you know, it, it really I mean, it meant a lot to me to, to won that award. That must have been a lot of hard work. Yes, sure. Hard work, like 2022, 2023, I worked so hard. You know, I, I was trying to prove a point. But I think... I, you actually did it. I did it, yeah. But you know, public speaking actually also comes natural. It's uh -huh. one of those things that just comes to you. Yes. So I'd also like to take this opportunity just to thank you for everything that you've done. Wow. You actually take the chance to get us kids and you interview us and you actually believe in us. Mm -hmm. That's just amazing. I'd just like thank to thank you. you on behalf of all of the children who have come. Mm -hmm. So my next question is, um, I actually saw that you were in some kind of a car accident in town. Do you mind telling us the, what really happened there? <laughs> Okay, so guys, honestly, I was not expecting this one. Oh, I'm now being interviewed on my show. It's now her show. Anyways, it's okay. I'm going to respond. Okay. Oh, by the way, I didn't, you know, even tell any journalists about what happened. I just went on live, you know, Facebook live, and I said something. But okay, I was in town, just parked uh, along um, uh, Ines Terrace Road. Uh, that's corner Ines and um, Speak. So I saw uh, this small vehicle, you know, with two police officers and uh, one, I mean, this guy, he was driving. So I'm sure he was arrested. So he was now reversing his car and he bumped into my car. 
Really? That must yes. have been horrible. You see, I was like, ah, okay, my guy, what are you doing? You know, what's up? He said, ah, no, I'm sorry, my brother. You know, I'm arrested. I've got these two police officers in my car. So, ah, it's something. I'm like, oh, okay, no problem. So my car was, wasn't that bad, you know. Um, you know, the damage wasn't that much. So I said, ah, okay, let me just talk to the police officers. Um, I want them to know or to write something down uh, so that you who will not change go post tomorrow when you wake up saying Ola bumped into my car, hit me uh, from, from behind. So he was like, okay, no problem. Um, so I approached these two police officers, saying, ah, officer, how are you? Say, who are you? Who are you? I'm like, ah, ma'am, look, I, <laughs> I'm the owner of that car. He said, oh, okay, so what? They were so arrogant for nothing. So I was like, no, ma'am, I want you to assist us. Look, this is an accident. They said, no, 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 so you drive to Central Police Station. I'm like, ah, what for? So the moment I was just having this conversation with them, they, were, they didn't want to come out of their car. So the moment we were just having this, you know, quarrel, so to say, people were now gathering, you know, people were now, you know, like, ah, this is Ola, this is Ola, you know, public figure, you know, that's the disadvantage of being a public figure. People just like, okay, out of interest, say, what's happening? So two minutes later, there's this guy coming, you know, in wearing sieve. He was not um, wearing a police uniform. He was like, okay, you are under arrest. He's now ar arresting me, you know, putting handcuffs. I'm like, ah, my brother, what are you doing? I'm so happy I actually know the true story now. That must have been really hard. You probably didn't even think of that happening you that see? day. <laughs> exactly. And it was just a mess. You know, my day was just off at that day. And the story then started trending the day after. A day after, that's when they started, the story was like all over social media. I'm like, I'm getting calls from everyone. So, Ola, are you safe? Ola, are you good? Ola, what's up? I'm like, no, guys, I'm okay. I'm at home right now. Okay, by that time, I was at a meeting in Grayson Park. I was like, no, I'm, I'm in a meeting right now, guys. What's up, guys? No, we heard that you, are, you, you have been arrested. I'm like, no. So it was just like, you know, that uh, road rage with the police. So you were just thinking about that the whole week and everything? Yeah, you know, it really disturbed me. Oh, it's okay. really disturbed me, so I was like, ah, okay, okay, but uh, I'm not okay. But that's one of the things that just comes with being a public figure. Yes, Even in true. my area, when I went to do some kind of a, uh, um, I went for an interview, mm -hmm. and then everyone in my area said, wow, I saw you on the interview. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess it's quite a nice feeling when everyone knows you for something that you've done. It, it, well, it, it unless is. Unless it's bad, but... Yeah. It is, you know, a good thing for people to know you, but it's not really good when you mess up. Yeah, but at least you know that it was a confusing situation and yes. it wasn't all your fault. Yes, very true. Yeah. At least, guys, I've got someone on my side. Ah, at last. <laughs> <laughs> That's Safia, our radio DJ. You know, we love you, uh, Safia. I also, I, I always listen, I always listen to your, uh, to your shows. I'm, I'm like, what? Who's this guy? I'm like, okay, first time I listen to your, uh, to your shows, like, what? It's so nice knowing that people actually listen. Exactly. You have got so much, I mean, uh, you're talented, so to say. You are talented. And I want, you, I want to see you in the next maybe 10 years, still in the same field. Yes, you said you want to do something, you want to do medicine, something to do with medicine, mm -hmm. not really a, a radio DJ. But I would love maybe to see you um, in media, maybe part-time. Yeah, don't worry. I'll always, um, if I can, I'll just go to the radio. Because being on the radio and public speaking is also just one way mm -hmm. to also tell others about what I'm doing. Yeah. And it's fun. It's like free time, really. Mm, 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 very true. So uh, what are your future you know, aspirations? Well, I just want to become a scientist. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, I, focus, I plan to focus on my studies, get into a good university, mm -hmm. and always make sure that I do everything with my love for science mm -hmm. and helping humanity. Wow, that's amazing. So uh, what's your favorite subject? My favorite subject? Mm, science, really. Science, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, my second favorite is math, mm -hmm. and then my third is English, because I'm good at it. Mm. So, you know, when uh, I was uh, still in school, uh, I used to love um, commerce. So it's opposite. It's opposite of what you're doing right now. So, <laughs> But in science, I know there's bi biology, there's uh, physical mm -hmm. science. Back then, there was integrated science as well. So which one are you, you know, into? Well, like I said before, I'm into astronomy and zoology. Mm -hmm. But if I weren't to choose one of those, mm, those are actually my favorites. <laughs> I like all type of science, but yeah. those are my two favorites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. No, that's, uh, that's great. So, Mr. Bacon, we had an argument here with Mr. Bacon last time when he was on the show about the color of the sun. Really? Yeah. Some people were saying yellow. People were saying no, brown. Some were saying white. Some were saying colorless. White? 
fireless. Okay, well, um, let me just clear the air with that one. The, since the sun is a fireball, you can just say, oh, it's like reddish, orangish, yellowish, mm -hmm. but mainly like coal. You know coal, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say it's red like that, yeah. but now there's some orange spots. Just imagine it as a big ball of fire, mm -hmm. like maybe in a movie, mm -hmm. um, and you see a fireball from maybe yes. a war or mm -hmm. some kind of a magic school or something. <laughs> Just imagine it like that. Okay. <laughs> Now, well, when people draw it, that's when it's yellow. Oh. It just makes it easier. Mm. You see an orange sun in a painting, you'll start wondering where but, you but are. But it's not easy to look at the sun, right? Yeah, it's hard. An eagle can, though. An eagle? Mm -hmm. Serious? They can look directly at the sun. Wow. And so the eye is very, that is very strong? Yeah, I guess it has a strong eye. Mm -hmm. But it's also because they have to fly really high in the sky to look for mm. prey oh. or just whatever birds actually like mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, since it flies high, it actually makes good use of its eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what word do you have for the young people? Well, here's something I actually discovered myself. There's uh, no difference in need and want. Because you need, for example, if you're thirsty, you might say, I need water or else I'm going to end up passing out. Mm -hmm. But really, you just want the watcher because you don't want to die. <laughs> so there's no difference between need and want. Mm -hmm. I've explained that to many people and everyone just starts saying that doesn't make any sense. It, it doesn't make any sense. But it does. Oh no, please explain further. Okay. okay um, you want to, let's say, you want to eat, let's think of a dish. Okay, you want to eat a salad. Uh -huh. Now, you need tomatoes and lettuce for it to make sense, mm -hmm. but you just want it so that it makes sense because you <laughs> want your salad because you want for, um, the delicious taste. You don't actually need it. <laughs> Even for food, you don't actually need it. You uh -huh. want it. But I'm not saying don't eat on anything, but I'm saying there's no difference. Uh -huh. Guys, do you agree? There's no, there's no difference between need and want. Do you guys agree? Okay, according to Safia, there's no difference. Okay, that's Safia for you. Safia, let's talk about something. Young girls are into early marriage these days, um, not by choice. You know, these, that, that's, that, that, we call them pedophiles and, uh, you know, monsters out there, you know, eyeing for these young girls. What, what's your advice to the young girl and your word to those, you know, uh, pedophiles? Um, I would say that for the young girls, you should do whatever you think is right. And um, for the other people, they're just children, so you should just let them be them. Mm, this is powerful. Let them be them. Yeah. Why rush? Hey, guys. And uh, young boys into drugs? Mm, well... These days, I'm on a mission. I'm like advocating for drugs. No, guys. Say no to drugs. This is my message these days. Same it's as to me, the young. because yeah. it can actually change the chemistry of your brain. It can lower your IQ. It can give you lung cancer. It can make you do different things. Your family might end up staying away from you because you're just there sneaking around or something mm, like that. Yeah. Many bad things can happen. Mm -hmm. um, you could end up going to jail. You'll end up stealing. You might end up, even end up killing someone by mistake. Mm, mm. Hey, this is very powerful. Very, very, very powerful. Uh, so profound from, uh, coming from, from you, uh, Safia. And um, I'm just like, okay. I think this show, let's, let's make it two hours. <laughs> two hours? Even that's but, too long for me. No, 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 it's okay. But because you're talking sense. That's the thing. You're talking sense. So much sense. So this is Safia. So, okay. Um, I want to give you like... Um, a time where you just tell us about anything that's on your heart. Uh, now? Yeah. Okay, let me think. Mm, okay, I know everyone always says it, but following your dreams is really something that you should do. Because you don't want to be able to look back when you're old and say, wow, I really enjoyed my childhood doing what I wanted to do best. But then if you don't, you'll be, oh, I can't believe I wasted all my time on this. <laughs> And then you'll also have maybe a job, but maybe you won't be happy with what you're doing. Yes. Because you could have used it wisely. Mm. That's like what I'm doing. I would love to do science. That's oh, yeah. why I just choose to do it. Mm -hmm. And well, public speaking science. is also great. Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. So do you watch cartoons at home? Cartoons? Well, yeah, but technically, I'd love to watch something else, maybe documentaries. But since my sisters want to watch Disney Channel and stuff <laughs> like that, I just have to deal with it. Also, you... <laughs> But, because, but, but you don't love watching cartoons. They are I'm, not your favorite. Yeah, not my favorite. I like watching um, documentaries. Mm -hmm. Why documentaries? Well, I'm not exactly sure why I like it, but maybe it's because they actually get to obtain more mm -hmm. information. Yes. Yeah, and you get to know more. Maybe you just find out something that you never knew. Mm -hmm. This is powerful, man. Ah, this is just a genius, guys. Honestly, she is a genius on the Genius Kids show. So your parting remarks, uh, uh, Sophia? 
Okay, well, like I said, there's no difference between need and want. Make sure you actually believe that because I'm serious. Just think about it and you'll understand what I mean. <laughs> and stay away from drug and substance abuse. It's very dangerous. And remember to always follow your dreams. And just remember, doing what you want to do is always the best solution to anything. Mm. And always do the right choice. Wow. So before you go, maybe some people want to know where you go to school and you know how you prepare for school. Just let us know. Uh, just let them know now so that we also advertise, get to advertise your school as well. Okay, I'm yeah, actually wearing the, the uniform. The school is raising brilliant kids. Yeah, I love that. Okay, well, I go to Kirkman Group of Schools. I'm in grade six. And uh, I think it's just a great school. I actually got to do so many things with it. Mm -hmm. It gives children so many different opportunities. We even have an arts and crafts room. Even this year, actually, mm -hmm. we made a bunch of statues okay. with arts and crafts. Mm. My class made a boxer wow. with, out of paper mache only. Mm -hmm. Um, some other classes made football players wow. or maybe farmers with mm -hmm. paper mache only. Yes. It was just amazing looking at it all. Yes, it is. Wow. Kirkman Group of Schools. Okay. So, can I do something when you go Kirkman? Please get in touch. Mangona Group of Schools are very, very brilliant. Thank you so much, Safia, for coming. Thank you. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. It's really a pleasure. My pleasure as well. Okay. We hope we can come again soon. Very soon, yeah, of course. Because I want to, you know, um, pardon, uh, I want to, you and Mr. Bacon to come on this show. Right? Mm -hmm. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be interesting. So thank you so much, guys, for watching the Genius Kids Show. It's a show not to miss. Every Monday we'll be dropping, you know, something for you. I'm, to, I'm, I'm, I'm biased toward this show because I love this one more than anything else. But, okay, I love all the shows, but I, want, I love this one the most. <laughs> okay. Uh, until next time, guys. My name is DJ Ola7. Owen, away, come on, the chief air marshal. And by the way, our website is now up and running www.theola7podcastshow.com Please just go and check us out. We're going to talk about our website. Yeah, we just talk to among my levels. I'm sorry, guys. Many thanks to our sponsors and also our viewers. To the Google Tendai IGS, Purified Waters. Oh, we now have water, uh, Safia. Well, that's actually nice. You have your own name on yes, your bottle of water. Yes, the Ola 7 Podcast Show. I'd love to actually do that someday also. Oh, really? Lovely. So we now have our water, the Ola 7 Podcast Show. If you want yours, talk with talk by ice, 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 a problem, okay? And uh, I want to say thank you also to uh, Junior Mutarisi. Junior Mutarisi, this is, you know, what made for us. You know, this is a nice uh, background, right? Mm -hmm. And you have your own name on it. Exactly, you see? He just surprised me with this one. Say, hola, here's the thing now. That's just amazing, having your own name on something. E exactly, you see? This is why I call it Show Yevanu, hashtag Show Yenika. Because everything we are having right here is coming from the people. Everything is coming from the people. For the people. This show is for the people. We are here to stay, guys. And many more shows to come. Uh, this uh, 2023. So, by the way, it's now. It's a, it's a new year. It's a new year, guys. 2024. What plans do you have for 2024? Okay, we'll talk about that uh, on the next show. Okay, bye-bye. Have a good night. Cheers. From as little as $20, your Christmas and New Year's could be filled with entertainment. We provide free-to-air decoders, smart TVs with built-in satellite receivers, tech support for all our products second to none. Find us in Harare, Mutare and Mashingo. For more information, WhatsApp us on the numbers appearing on screen now. Kesson Electronics. Grab yours today.